Oh my god, just don't take yourself so seriously. <laughs> it's you know, if you start appreciating life as soon as you start having your ego out of the way, you know, you need to really like fully embrace, you know, life and let it go and just just letting go. You know, when I was young, I was always like super ambitious. I was like, I'm doing this and I'm doing my master and I'm going to go to politics. I was always like driven with something. And then, you know, as soon as you find, you know, that little spark of passion, I think you can begin to just let go because then, you know, life has put you in the right path. And then you start just enjoying and start just having not so many questions about where will I be in five years or where will I be in six. And so it's to me that that part would be like, just don't take yourself so seriously. Just, you know, chill a bit. <laughs> I would say there's so much to pick up along the way and I've experienced it, you know, so many of these things and there's so much left for me to continue growing and learning. I think that's one of the biggest things, right? Always know that there is more to learn and more to to pick up. You don't know everything when you're when you're 20 years old by any means. The other thing that I have to say I would have had a far easier time growing professionally and as a person is if I if I had really understood the scale of challenges because challenges come our way every day in any business and I would say there are really big challenges and not so big challenges and the way we approach these things makes a huge difference big challenges a pandemic nearly anything else not that big a challenge and all you need to do is step back give it some thought talk with your team and you will overcome so the, i feel like when we're younger we really sweat the small things and we should not it is not worth it the only way you really learn that is getting through some of those big hurdles and understanding the true scope of how you approach things. So, you know, don't sweat it. Get through it, keep calm, and be very collaborative with your teams. You'll get through it. Wow. You know, when I look back, I never would have dreamed I would have had the opportunity to be so fortunate in my career in this industry. I would absolutely tell myself, and I tell this to my daughters all the time now, it's all going to work out. It always does. Everything happens for a reason. So that one maybe missed opportunity that you think is the worst thing right in the moment, eventually you're going to look back and say, you know what? It's a good thing that didn't happen because here I am now and this is happening. And and so I would have just told myself to just calm down, take it as it comes. It's all going to work out. And I know that now. Um, thankfully, I, can, I really do live by that now. Um, I really don't worry. I just say, you know what? I believe great things are going to come to me and they will because I've been very lucky and I'm blessed and um, you just have to believe in yourself and believe in in how everything works out and not get so caught up in the moment. It really is a journey. It just it's a journey and you have to trust that journey. Great question. I think taking a chance and not being afraid because I fell in love with the cruise industry, Claudine, 21 years ago. I went on my very first cruise on Monarch of the Seas with Royal Caribbean. It was December 2002. It was my honeymoon cruise. I fell in love. And ever since then, I would always book cruises behind my spouse's back. And then he would get mad at me and then he'd be over it, right? And I was always like, okay, when's the next one? I need to have a countdown clock, which is why my business is called Countdown Travels. I need to have something to look forward to. And I didn't. I didn't jump into this industry because I was afraid. I was afraid of what if I fail? I was afraid of like, I really wanted to do it. And I put my desire of doing something that I really love on hold because I was afraid to take that risk. And I wish I would have started in this business a long time ago. So I think it's important not to stick too long with 
things that are not working out or are beneficial. And I'm not just speaking professionally, but personally as well. If something is dragging on for a few months and you think this is just not what I want to be doing or I don't feel comfortable with this or this is not going in the right direction, it's tough to have the courage to make a change and and try to get out of that. You may not know what to do next, you know, if it's a job, for example, or a living situation. But I wish that I had been a little uh, braver in some decisions that I took in my life to make a change sooner than I did. So hopefully younger people will not be uh, hesitant have the courage to change if they think there's something in their life that they're not happy with. Don't be so afraid because you never know what you're ending up in the end. And don't put this huge plans and have everything like, when I'm turning 30, I'm going to be this part of my life and I have all of this. I mean, the world is changing. It's a completely different world. So just go with the flow a little bit and put up goals instead of like, fixed. Don't put limits on yourself. You know, dream big, aim for the sky, and leave yourself open to the universe, really, because I think we all are guilty of putting limits on ourselves and being so linear in our thinking, and I think that can only hold us back. And don't do what I did and only want to be the head of sales. You know, it took me almost 30 years to decide I wanted to be more than just the head of sales, and I actually wanted one of these president and CEO roles. And I would have told my younger self that I should have done that sooner. But again, I believe everything happens for a reason in the time it's supposed to happen. And so I'm very grateful that it took me as long as it did because I learned so much, which made it so much easier for me to transition into a role like that. It's a really big responsibility and a really big role. But I could have done it all a little faster if I dreamed a little bigger. You know what? I'm gonna give this advice which I would give my younger self. I was on a panel a few weeks ago and there were a lot of college students in the audience. And the advice that I gave them is, if you don't see it, create it. I (gasps) did not see someone with a show like mine during the pandemic. So I created it. And even when I look at my career in the cruise industry, when there were times when I, you know, was ready for promotion, I wanted to move up, but I didn't see any jobs on the job site at that time that would allow me to move up to the next level. So I created those positions and I presented them to my bosses and each time it was accepted. So I will say to my younger self, to younger people out there listening, and even You'd be old like me. I just made 50, Claudine, 50. Happy birthday. (laughs) (laughs) So thank you. But whoever is listening, wherever you see a gap, if you don't see it, create it. To lean in to your strengths. I think that a lot of times, maybe especially when we're young, like, you know, in our teens and early 20s and, you know, maybe we're studying or we're going to our first job and there's a mold of what people, you know, think that you should be or that people in that field should be. And sometimes we, you know, like we hide a little bit of ourselves, you know, trying to conform to what somebody else is. Um, or something, but I do think that we all really have strengths and we all really have gifts. And I think the sooner that we lean into our strengths, I think the sooner that we have success in what we do. So that is something. I love that. Thank you. And then uh, as well, that life isn't like a play. Well, I should actually explain it a little bit better. I think that life is not a one act play. So I think whatever you do when you're younger, there are other experiences that are gonna come later and there are different parts to your life. And there's never a point in time that you can't reinvent yourself or do something new that we don't have to do the same thing for our entire lives and that's okay.